The avoidant is going to be far more avoidant with a person that they actually start to develop feelings for. The more feelings that they have for this person, the faster the avoidant is going to run because they're going to be paralyzed with fear. Avoidance fear emotional intimacy, and they especially fear it with somebody who triggers their fears, somebody who treats them well, somebody who is actually loving and kind to them, somebody who's special that actually makes the avoidant start to feel something. A toxic partner or a partner that's not all that special, they're not going to trigger the avoidance fear because the fear of emotional intimacy comes from the fear of abandonment. And you don't fear being abandoned by somebody who isn't all that great and not all that special, but you do fear abandonment by somebody who is special that makes you feel things because it would be that much more devastating to be abandoned by a loving partner that the avoidant actually has feelings for. The avoidants have a castle wall they built around their heart. It's a way to protect themselves. They keep other people on the outside because the avoidant at their core feels like they are unlovable. And if anybody gets in, they're going to realize that the avoidant is unlovable and they're going to reject and abandon them. So this is why they especially fear it with somebody who actually really starts to make them feel things because this person is getting on the inside of their heart. And that is absolutely terrifying because they feel abandonment is inevitable. The avoidant will start to feel like they're getting intense emotions and that they're losing control of their feelings. So as a way to regain control, they will look for ways to create emotional distance between themselves and their partner. That will help the avoidant feel safe. They'll take their feelings that they are developing for their partner and they will bury them, suppress them, and they won't allow themselves to maintain access to those feelings. It's the way the avoidant protects themselves. It's maladaptive, meaning that it hurts both them and their partner, but it is a learned defense mechanism that they learn from childhood. So yes, the better the partner, the more feelings the avoidant has for the partner, the faster they're going to shut down and run. Somebody who's not all that special, someone who's maybe even toxic, the avoidant can actually stick around for a while because this person won't trigger their fears. There is no pressure to be emotionally intimate with somebody who's not emotionally intimate with you. And a toxic partner is not emotionally intimate because they're not emotionally available. So the avoidant feels safe with that kind of person, but a loving partner that treats them really well, they'll feel emotionally unsafe with because there's an unspoken pressure for the avoidant to be vulnerable in return. So healthy relationships in particular trigger the avoidant fears, whereas unhealthy ones do not. Hope this makes sense.